A little while ago I reviewed this M5 stack and uh, I really really like this little guy. It's uh, really really neat and I uh, suggest you watch that video to get uh, an overview of it. But, uh, in common with most uh, devices you, normally it only runs one application at a time and then you have to reflash it uh, to do something else. But uh, now we have a, a multi-app uh, installation here so there are a number of different applications including an oscilloscope, a uh, web radio, weather station information, a web server, uh, you can browse the SD card inside and uh, play MP3s from it. Uh, you have uh, various tools that you can use and uh, a couple of games. So uh, I'm going to show you how to get this installed and uh, but just before you uh, rush off and uh, load up your Arduino IDE to get these multi apps uh, to to run we need to set up a different um, IDE as the Arduino IDE is not suitable for this task so we can see here that it's in fact using the platform IO IDE so we're going to need to install that and uh, as always there'll be links in the description as how to find these things I've downloaded and unzipped that to my desktop what do we do next? Visual Studio Code. Let's get that installed. So clicking on this strange square thingy here, we need to search for there we go. And finally, uh, we should get to this point here. Um, there was some other installation that it did automatically uh, once we reloaded the platform IO. Um, but finally here under editors we can see that it's uh, it's installed now and we can move on to the next point. Now we need to apply the platform IO patch. It just says to apply it there, it doesn't tell you how, but there is a readme file so we copy the contents of the patch folder to uh, our dot platform IO directory. Before we can flash the uh, multi-app application uh, we need to change the uh, the flash the firmware on uh, on the M5 stack and you may just be able to see I've got the other code loaded there from uh, a previous project so looking at the flashing tool here and we've got the instructions as well so we start the ESP32 download and I've already loaded the uh, the file from the, the correct place where I downloaded the pre-compiled firmware too so that is all good and we enter the address there that's been set by default for the COM port we need to go to the device manager and we can see it here installed on COM port 8 Everything else, I believe, should be just left as, as default. And we need to press the reset button and then click start and release the button. Nothing else to do. So now we'll press the reset button on the M5 stack again. Obviously there's nothing loaded on it at the moment, so uh, 
The next step will be to get the applications installed. Now back into the uh, platform I.O. and you just need to navigate to the directory that contains the multi-app um, code and in the source directory open up the main CPP program which we can see here. Now the next step will be to build it and hope that we don't get any errors. And we see success. Um, the, the yellow messages, I think, were just, just war warnings. Uh, so let's upload it and uh, see how it goes. So it has uh, uploaded the code and we can now see the applications uh, on the device itself. Happy days.